Look, the bottom line is, NCR has power to spare, while the rest of the Mojave have fuck all. If you report me, it won't change anything. The settings are locked now. I know, alright. Look, if it's bothering you so much, why didn't you say something back at the mainframe? Unless you're using this as leverage to get me to kill more legionaries again. Yeah, that might be true. Oh, you son of a... We'll talk about this later. What can I help you with? Well, if you can help me get rid of this extortionist, I would greatly appreciate it. But since that's unlikely, I'll just let you know that the plot is activated now. If you haven't noticed the blinding light already, oh, I'm gonna need a fucking optician after this. I saw that on the monitors here, and you sent it to everyone. Very admirable. Don't patronize now me. Now the NCR is more or less what they want. Hopefully their curiosity about the plan is satisfied, and they'll dig no deeper. Hopefully. The followers will be grateful. Here, take these. As a parting gift. Oh, thanks. I hope you'll find them useful. I have to say, I honestly wasn't expecting any payments for that. Not saying I won't gladly accept these, of course. Having said that, a book and a few medical supplies aren't exactly what I would call high-rate pay, but in my experience, I'll be lucky if I get a few hair clips and a pack of bubble gum. So what are you going to do now? Keeping watch, mostly. Trying to make sure the dangers of this plan are minimized. That's it? That's all the followers of the apocalypse do? I can't see how you could be all that popular if you try to hold people back, especially if it's the NCR. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Fair enough, I guess. I would say go read a book, but most people don't bother with literacy these days. Hell, why do you think cannibalism is on the rise? But what about technology like this power plant? Who's to say what knowledge should be recovered and what shouldn't? Other things weren't lost, but were black from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. And you think the best way to do that is to pair up and work with the NCR? They're clearly not interested in restraint. We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing, and prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind, try to provide some stability. Stability? No offense, Professor, but I've traveled from Good Springs all the way to Novak and stopped at every settlement in between. And those places are about as stable as a hotel bed after an all-night orgy. Where the hell do you actually provide your services? Because they sure as hell aren't reaching this far. We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan. And a man we trained is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside. But that was a while ago. Well, I'm gonna have a word with them if I ever get near to those places, cause some parts of this wasteland are getting rather neglected. But anyway, I should get going before the NCR suspects something. Goodbye. Oh, and one more thing. Now the power output is at 100%, somebody in this place is no longer necessary. And I think the NCR would be rather thankful if he disappeared. I'm just saying. Yeah, if that scientist doesn't kill him, one of the soldiers will. Either way, removing that idiot from the gene pool is only gonna do everyone else a favor. Not that he would ever get to pass on his genes anyway. Quite frankly, if there are any women out there stupid enough to actually fall for his charm, for the lack of a better word, then they should be removed from the gene pool as well. Anyway, are you sure you got everything you needed, Eddie? And you're still not going to tell me what this is all about? Ah, very well then. Huh, don't worry. I figured if you refuse to let me know what's going on, then I'll just make sure you never reach your destination. It really is that simple. Speaking of destinations, are you still going to extort me into another Legion camp? You want to do something different? Uh, yes. How about we head towards Boulder City before my attacker's trail freezes solid? Too bad. Oh, fine then. Ugh, be glad that I happen to hate those fuckers in the first place. Otherwise, I would just shoot you and make a run for it. So, where is this camp you're thinking of? And before you know it, we're gonna have a bounty so high the number won't fit on the bloody poster. Look, can you at least tell me the situation with this place before we go in there guns blazing? Keep walking. 
What the fuck is your problem? I'm not a patriot, so you're forcing me to be one? I don't like what you're trying to do here. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you could be getting from somewhere else. Right now, though, it looks like we're about to get arrested. Fuck. Hold up there. This area is locked down by the NCR military until we can dislodge some Legion snakes from Nelson. Wait, what? Did you say Nelson? Oh, fuck you, Boone! That's not just a camp, that's the fucking front line! Look, I don't know what the trouble with the Legion is in this area, but... Hell, what ain't the trouble with the Legion? This time, they jumped the camp in Nelson while the troopers were setting up. Captured a bunch of gear and took the town. Couple of troopers, too. Got them crucified down near the center of town. Crucified? Oh, fuck me, they've done the same in Nipton. You knew about this ages ago, didn't you? Yeah. I cannot believe this is happening. I must have lost a pretty steep bet against Christ himself or something. Well, don't just stand there then. Show us the way. We're here to resolve the situation or get ourselves killed. Whichever you think is more likely. Maybe. I'd like to know who I'm dealing with first. You, my friend, are dealing with someone who's starting to wonder if it's quicker to kill himself by running straight into Nelson or by shooting all of you motherfuckers right here, right now. But on a good day, you can call me the courier. The man who's about to deliver his own death sentence! My apologies, but that name and face ain't ringing the old school bell upstairs. Afraid I can't let you through until the situation is resolved. Hold on a minute! You're seriously telling me you haven't heard of the courier yet? I know everything only happened yesterday, but I took out a fucking prison! And that sniper woman said she'd put a good word in for me! Well, she was clearly making shit up. Look. You seriously think a first recon sniper would drag any dickhead off the street to help out with this? I kinda wish he had now. Fair enough. It's not like any of the troopers around here are jumping up to volunteer. If you had a few dozen doses of psycho on you, maybe we could pep those weepy troopers into charging down into Nelson and taking back the camp. But since that's not likely, you could help me take out the Legion's trooper hostages. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Even if I had that many drugs, I wouldn't share them. Wait, did you just say take out the hostages? He did just say that, didn't he? The troopers won't go down in the camp with their comrades at risk. Dirty game, the Legion likes to roll out whenever they get a chance. Problem is, Ranger Milo doesn't want to play. If we take out the hostages, they've got squat for leverage. To hell with Mercy Killing. We're getting those guys out of there. Oh no, I see what's going on. Ha! <laughs> Very good. This guy isn't even talking about Mercy Killing. He just wants to remove an obstacle. Those troopers might as well as be slaps of meat to him. <laughs> You're not even thinking about a rescue, are you, Mr. Milo the Butcher? Back at Ranger School, they taught us not to run headlong into a battle when you're outnumbered ten to one. You want to go down there and try to haul those crippled boys off those poles? You're dumber than you look. You're gonna get what's coming to you, I promise you that. Oh, oh, you're pissing off the sniper? You wouldn't like him when he's pissed off. And there's me thinking you rangers would know better. But it turns out the best way to come out ahead, you ranger school, is to be even more of a dickhead than the other guys. Well, I'm sorry, but the day I start doing shit like that, Satan would learn how to play a fucking harp. That's a shame. Well, let me know if you change your mind, or those legion sons of bitches will be holed up in Nelson for weeks. Heh, <laughs> don't you bet on that just yet. You wouldn't know this, but we don't always do a job the easy way. Last time someone told us to evict some people, we sent them flying in rockets. Although I have to admit, this is a bit different. Someone somewhere must have fucked up big time for this to happen. Troopers tried moving down from Forlorn Hope because we got this big gap between there and Searchlight. Turns out we were spread too thin. We took our sweet ass time setting up in Nelson and the Legion managed to hop over the Colorado and attack before things were settled. And let me guess, you guys were the survivors of that little incident. I bet the Legionaries are slouching on your favorite couch right now, drinking your liquor and reading your porn. Oh, I do hope you're not the commanding officer here, cause all that shit is on you. Nope, I'm just the only ranger around. The rest of the kids here are troopers, inexperienced, outnumbered, and under-equipped. Either way, you're fucked without outside help. Good luck with your plan of inflicting euthanasia with a high-caliber bullet, but we're gonna find an alternative that doesn't involve killing our own guys. Hey, hold on. Just so you know, if you go down into that camp, one of two things is gonna happen. Either that little head of yours is gonna sail into the Colorado courtesy of a Legion machete, or they're gonna try to make friends with you. And if I find out you're friends with the Legion, I'll put a lump of lead through your skull as soon as you pop it back up over the ridge. Are we clear? Oh, okay. Just to confirm, do you really think I would join the Legion without getting shot by the guy behind me? Somehow I think he would put me down long before you even hear about it. So, no, that's not exactly on my schedule right now. Much obliged. 
Well, I have to admit, that's the first time someone gave me an ultimatum like that. And the funny thing is, I don't like it very much. Uh, I might just have to alter my to kill list slightly because someone is encroaching the top 10. I'm not sure how much more obvious that threat is going to get, so I'll just stop right there. Well, if you're still serious about making me help, then I hope you realize that our job just got a lot more complicated. If we're gonna storm Nelson, then we'll need support from Forlorn Hope, which I assume is north of here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, as if I actually give a shit. Oh, I was waiting for you to make that comparison. Let's just get one thing straight here. These are NCR troopers we're talking about, not powder gangers. Those guys in Nipton would have killed us without a moment's hesitation if they were free. So you can take your self-righteous attitude and go fuck yourself. Mercy killing was better than they deserved. Speaking of which, is this the sort of shit you guys are expected to do, or is that guy back there just a dickhead? I'm betting 20 on the latter. Mercy killing is expected of NCR snipers. Fuck, I owe you 20! The Legion likes to torture their prisoners within sight of NCR positions. Considering everything I've seen them do, I'm really not surprised. We get called on to end it. I've had my share. I'm guessing that's why you're thinking of alternatives? Yeah. Some of them, you think. Maybe you could have gotten them out. Maybe it's not the Legion that got them killed. Maybe it's your orders and you following them. Well, if it's any consolation, this is why I'm not in the army. The therapy you need after retirement is not worth the money at the ladies, if there were any to begin with. Okay, what the hell am I looking at over here? Those are windmills and a generator, if I'm not mistaken. This is a wind farm! Ha! My idea for renewable energy was right, and some guy in the old world got there first. Bloody typical. Too bad he can't sue dead people. So, if this place is like Helios 1, then are we going to find another NCR welcoming committee? Or not? What the fuck is this thing? Oh, don't give me giant wasps! I'm not an entomologist! We've got enough insects, for fuck's sake! Apply the bug spray! Oh, fuck! What in the fucking guts? Ah, I don't know what this exotic stinging therapy is supposed to do, but I'm not paying for it! Christ almighty, it's gone right through the armor! I'm definitely gonna buy armor plates later. Holy shit, I am going numb. That oh, that's poison! Yep, that was poison! Okay, kids, time to apply Mr. Antivellum. Sing along now. Oh, and I'm gonna make the sting go away. Make it go away. Make it go away. Oh, Andy Venom's gonna make the sting go away. Make it go away. Make it go away. Ah. I can't feel all my limbs. And you think I can? Just give the Andy Venom time to work. Pretend you're taking a crap in the desert or something. Or better yet, don't. 